Bitcoin just went above the 61.8, above 13,360, just as we said, and then went below just as Vinci J15 said in our last episode. So this is a very special episode. Um, da Vinci took his time to make that episode because it's very important. We will talk about exactly whether Bitcoin will go back up, hit other levels like maybe 16,000, or whether we will go be, um, down, to the downside to maybe uh, up to 40 or above 40% correction. We will talk exactly about that in today's episode and also about the question very shortly whether there is an altcoin time right now or whether we should um, wait any longer. So Da Vinci J15, thank you so much for taking your time. We had a huge S show before we were trying to make a live video that was completely not your fault. We bought a new um, laptop today and, and on our side it didn't work. So for everyone having that patience, thank you so much. Smash up the like button. And now we want to come to the most important question of today. I can already answer it. I'm not feeling very good. I'm still smiling because we are happy to provide that content. But the MacBook is crazily like it didn't work at all. But that being said, Da Vinci J15, how are you doing today, my man? I would have been better, a lot better, if I got into that short. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what you did, you 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 shorted the 36.8, uh, the 61.8, isn't it? Yes. And I made three, two mistakes. One, I didn't like, I, I should have went with straight liquidation, went 5% liquidated because I did 20x short. And two, I, sh I didn't know that I only put $3 on the short and you had to point that out to me. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So we saw on the screenshot he sent, he wanted to pro probably put like three or 30 Bitcoin, but he just put, the, that was the dollar equivalent, $3. So that was the first good thing. So you stopped out with a loss of like, 10 cents or so but the, the bad cents. thing is yeah exactly seven th uh, cents the bad <laughs> thing is like you exactly hit it just the stop loss was too tight otherwise you would be in a huge profit right now but now everyone is asking obviously was that the blow off top everyone was waiting for will bitcoin go lower to that final correction like which is really really due for or will bitcoin recover and go even further to the upside for good so da vinci do you have any answer for that and can we answer that maybe um with the charts or anyhow else yeah well, let's take a look at the chart um first off this let me just share my screen here yes. and as you can see um i'm wondering if that was a good idea because i now i'm gonna have to turn my head and and everybody sees me like looking at the other screen. But anyways, uh, as you can see, um, we've got uh, a five minute charts up here and uh, Bitcoin is rolling, still rolling over uh, is below the 13 MA on the five minute chart, five minutes here. And yeah, it doesn't look so good, especially if we go up to the higher time frames. Right. Um, it's, wow. it's, it's, it's a slaughterhouse. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah, so, um, yeah, but same with this parabolic move. It was also crazy. It, now, it, also, it also went only, like, let's say only 4% or so higher than you expected. And now it's way below that 61.8 level again. So, first of all, big shout out to you, Davin. It's really crazy to see, like, how TA can work out, even though we have something like a 4% slippage in that. Exactly, exactly. I mean... This was not my trade. This is called the mountain man trade because he does this. He's he's the king at this. And uh, I just thought I'd just stick my hat at it. And I was, I, I, you know, what? I, I, I'll tell you, I was, um, I was very scared. I was like feeling like a train was running me over the whole time. <laughs> this thing yes, was yes, going yes. down. <laughs> it was not easy a trade to take. Um, so yeah, you can imagine like a uh, mountain man taking this trade. I don't know how he does, what, what his, his stop losses are, right? I should find out uh, and uh, and learn his trade. But I just, you know what, honestly, I don't have the stomach for that to, to make a, a 61.8 trade. I just don't. Cause you just feel like you're you're like, you're, you're standing in front of a train when you're, when you watch the market just go screaming up at you or even screaming down at the six down to the 61.8 it's kind of scary <laughs> to think that it's going to turn on a dime 
but it usually does. That's how I mean, that's how it works, right? I mean, it's it's a part of our our tools as technical analysis works pr pretty much all the time. Not all the time, but but enough time for you to use it in a situation where you can actually make profits. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what is your game plan right now? I mean, you do not want to jump on that maybe right now because it is already like way below your starting point where you actually wanted to start that short trade. So what is the game plan right now? And do you think that we will go further lower? Do you think Bitcoin will consolidate and then go even higher? What is exactly happening right now? And maybe we can zoom a little bit into the charts because it is still like really, really zoomed out. Yeah, perfect. So what, what, what is actually your view on the situation right now? Well, I'm I'm thinking we can uh, we, we're definitely going to go lower, but I can't I can't jump in on this because I don't have any kind of like trade. And it, it, it's when you chase, it tends to like backfire on you. So you can't chase you can't chase a market. You have to be in that short. I have to be in this short right here, and maybe even move my stop loss up to here, um, where I got in. Now, um, because you know what, uh, you, don't, you you never know with the Bitcoin. I mean, it it wants to go higher badly, and so it can come right back at the 61.8 really just as fast as it left it. So yes. you got to consider that, and that's why you can't jump and chase this short. Yeah. Um. Uh. I don't. I took the short off, but it was. Uh. I was gonna liquidate myself. Uh, at the the, the 10,900, but I I thought you know what I'm going to reduce it um, to the the 50% level to the 11 11,400 just because Bitcoin is so FOMO-y, right? It is it that is. that that I doubt that I was going to get uh, my profit objective. So um, right now I've got to wait. I mean I got to I've I've got to be next bus in 10 minutes, right? So I have to look <laughs> honestly. I have to give up on this trade and look somewhere else and just say, you know, I missed it, missed it. That's exactly. what I could do. And Da Vinci, we do not want to chase the full 100% always. We want to get a significant cut out of a possible trade, like 60% maybe. So guys, if you imagine yourself standing at a bus station and you see there is a huge bus full of like, it's 100% full of people. You just wait for the next bus. You let that bus go. Everyone is like squeezed into that bus. Just wait and go into the next bus. It's coming for sure in nine minutes. So definitely, Da Vinci, thank you so much for your calm approach. It will save a lot of money for a lot of people. Nevertheless, I want to say congrats and shout out to everyone who went actually in that short trade at 13,360 and had a not so steep stop loss. So they are still in and in a huge profit right now. So big shout out. Also, Da Vinci, sorry, but very important. I can see in the chat right now on Telegram, many people are saying the funding rate rate is high on BitMEX and like it's a huge overload for everyone who wants to take with a very, very cautious approach, um, like advantage of that huge volatile, volatile situation right now. And you see that there are huge problems on BitMEX. The leverage exchange we are trading at right now is Bybit. We have a partner link in the description down below. You get a deposit bonus of $110. No drawbacks, like it's a win-win situation. If you want to have that, if you want to trade on that really nice interface and which um, on the exchange, which is solving some problems from BitMEX, check it out. Link in the description down below. And that being said, Da Vinci, yeah, let's please continue um, with your game plan right now. So you do not want to go on that short right now. What's what's actually uh, the game plan. Well, uh, now what, what we have to do is wait and see. Uh, remember, what if we go zoom back out? We have to we have to zoom back out and see what uh, Bitcoin might want to, to do. Uh, here's the short. Here's uh, the target down here uh, uh, at around uh, 10,900. Um, it's kind of steep, um, I, but I think it's it's going to make it because. I believe Bitcoin is probably going to check this red line now. Um, we're going to see it check this red line and then and then maybe bounce higher. If it does, it has to blow past the 61.8. If it doesn't blow past the 61.8, uh, or and it and it all it does is like um, does another 61.8. Uh, what's it called? The uh, 
ball bouncing that's not a good sign so let's just say it comes down to here and it comes back up and goes to the 12,700 then it rolls back down right to check the uh the the trend line mm -hmm. that's not a good sign people oh. and it's not going to do this uh, wedge triangle again to give you a, um another leg up that's not pro probable possible but not probable <laughs> so um <laughs> that's always always very great when you say that so let's say we are going down to the roughly 11000 at that line then we are going about, um, to the upside and do not form a higher high and then touch the trend line to the downside again you would say that's not a very good sign but let's pretend like w what would be your bullish case we as you said who is not in that short trade you recommended um what for, for those people, what would be a bullish sign for the Bitcoin price if we wait and see right now? Well, if it were if it were to reach if it were to come back down to somewhere about here and line up the uh, 78.6 with the uh, uh, with the uh, what's it called the uh, the 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 61.8 and then come back and blow through that, I would say that if it blows through the 61.8, the previous 61.8 and the 78.6, right, if it sets it up, and this all depends on how it sets it up, right? So, I mean, yes. uh, this is just a guesstimate. So, this is, so I'm, I'm going to take that off because, you know, you never know what's going to actually go up to. But if it does blow through the 61.8, it's got to blow through it with force and make, take out this high in order for us to say, okay, we're going to 16K. Yes, yes, but that's still in place. All we have to do is wait and see. So we have the different two different scenarios which can come for everyone who was in that short trade. Congrats, guys! You made a nice um, you made a nice earning. Make sure you close your trade anytime so you can take some of your profits home. That would be great. But then. For everyone who is waiting for a new setup right now, we have to wait and see. But we can share that exact setup here in our Telegram group. Also, link in the description down below. But Da Vinci, also we want to ask right now, um, 16,000 for Bitcoin is still in place, but also the huge retracement is still in place. So that being said, what about the altcoins? What about the people who are thinking um, about jumping into altcoins right now? Do you think there is a place for altcoins? And like which scenario would be good for altcoins when the Bitcoin price moves to the upside or to the downside or when it consolidates? And if so, do you have maybe one or two altcoins which you are planning to go in? Yeah, well, this is the daily candle right now. Let's, before we get onto the altcoins, um, mm -hmm. I would suggest one that people move their stops now to uh, like uh, half halfway through this all this move. But this thing, this thing looks like it's going to close the daily candle on a red uh, candle, which was, will be very very bearish if it closes red, um, uh, because uh, we're going to that's going to make it look like a, a what's it called a, a hammer. And uh, hammer candle and woof boy, that's 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 a that's a huge hammer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks it looks like crazy. Wasn't that the so, Empire State? Yeah, and then if it if it go and then if it closes red or even green, it doesn't really matter. And then it comes all the way back down and 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 it clears my uh, trade here. That would mean that it would create an empire. So the next day, because we're on a daily. If it closes down and it closes down and clear and then I get my trade off, right? That if I wasn't it, that would have been, that would that would be the beginning of signs of a of an empire. Now we just have to wait another day to say does that empire confirm because it has to confirm as well, meaning that it has to grow make a newer low on on the on the on the next day on the two days from now. So. So let's just see, wait and see what happens, right? Because the market will do whatever the market wants to do. So um, let's wait and see what happens there. Now, as for the altcoins, if Bitcoin is rolling over here, and, I, and it looks like it is, right? Because this is like a huge, if we come out, come out, come out a little bit, right? It looks like this looks like a blow off top to me, yeah. if I've ever seen one. And um, and that means that the altcoin season has finally going to start wow. right 
I know I told you guys to get that, that's, that a couple of weeks ago that the, this was the last chance to buy alt, and then Bitcoin took off, and uh, and then uh, the alt got just literally destroyed uh, in Bitcoin price. Yes. Um, the thing is, right? Uh, I like buying alt down. Um, and yeah, you know what, because I don't put a lot because with the little lady strategy, the amount that I put in is like 0.25, 0.5%. And so I could put in a lot. I let, okay. So it falls a little bit. I got 0.25% falls some more. I put in another 0.25% falls a little bit more. I got a lot of room to, to buy and not worry about. The, the the price falling on me and just and just uh, yeah. and being wrecked because you know what um i can always i i'm, I'm basically cost averaging in now yes with that said um there is a way to time your um purchases of altcoins and and it, it was clear to me that i did i should have probably mentioned that um in our last video uh, if we head over to the altcoins, right? I'm going to um, I'm going to make this bigger, and then um, let's take a look at some of the altcoins. I'm just going to do random altcoins. These are not recommended buys, so do is not. It a, is it a high volume one? Did I, I'm just pointing. I'm I'm going to be pointing out altcoins on random, only to show something. Only to show okay. something. So this right. is random, guys. Do not go and buy that. We just want to show an example to tell you what Da Vinci thinks about the upcoming probable altcoin season. That's just a random picked altcoin. Basic attention. Exactly. Market, but that's random, guys. Random. Do not buy. Man, we can say that and they will go there regardless. We don't own that. We didn't <laughs> buy that. We are not planning to buy that. So exactly. that's Da Vinci, please. <laughs> yeah, so what, we're, what I'm trying to show here is that there's a W here on the weekly charts, right? And then it took off. So this is where you would you would set your, your buy order right at this, like maybe at the, the body of the candle. And then, you know, you could take your profits up here. Now, did you see any W here? No. No. So, you, so if you want to time your purchases, you might want to wait for a weekly W. Yes. Like you see right here. They go, okay. This is this is taking off. I'm gonna buy right here. That's called timing your purchases. You wait for what's called market structure. This is market structure, making a a low a low here, then a mm -hmm. low a higher low here, and then you're taking on, and then you're you're gonna buy at at uh, at a breakout point. Yes, exactly. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do that again with another random coin. Again, not random. to say to buy this coin, but do you see any W's here? Weekly W's here, Chris? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, there's nothing, right? Let's let's go down and just to choose any other coin. Okay, this has very little data, so no. There's not much time left, unfortunately. I can see right now because that was really um, a spontaneous video, and there's not much power on the phone left. <laughs> okay, so I'll cut. I'll cut the. I'll keep this short. Yes. So again, no W's here, right? Yeah. So if you want to time your 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 purchases for the alts. You don't have to start buying them now, but keep in mind, um, the alts, they like to just face rip out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> right? So I don't I don't like timing my person's purchases with the, the, the weekly Ws as much as other people do. But if that's something you want to do, that's just another style of, uh, of uh, trading. And it's uh, basically up to you how you feel comfortable when you want to um, choose how to get into a specific uh, asset. I'm not saying you should get into this, I don't know what this IOP, which is, I don't know what the hell that is, but <laughs> I'm just saying, if you wanted this and you, you you wanted to make sure that you got the best price, the best time to do it is when you see weekly Ws, basically. Yes. And so that's, that's it. You, you would basically say that the altcoin season is coming up, but you would not jump in. So either on the Bitcoin side and on the altcoin side, you are taking it on a hold. Nevertheless, you really timed that 61.8 um, really, really great with Bitcoin. That actually already happened. But for Bitcoin and for the altcoins, you want to wait a little bit more 
um, to see what actually happens. We said, we told you the two Bitcoin scenarios for the upside and for the downside before, and for altcoins, you actually want to wait for weekly Ws. Is that correct? Exactly. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, it's just an option. Yeah. That's all. I mean, the way I deal with it is different. I don't wait for weekly Ws. I wait for like carnage, people crying. People were hurting, uh, and everybody was hurting. Like, like, like in, like in December, <laughs> where you said that the altcoins had bottomed, and they actually had bottomed over there. Yes, Perfect. yes, but we saw more. I saw more weekly Ws in there than yeah. than back in December than I do now. Um, this is just carnage. And but the reason why I'm so happy about why I I thought for sure the the this is the last chance for altcoins because if you look at any of these and the dollar values. You can see the Ws. Now it's getting interesting, yeah. That's so there you go. So you there can you see go. The if, you if, can if, see if you're the trading for right. if you're trading for dollars, there you go. If you're trading for Bitcoin, maybe you wait a little longer. And obviously, a lot of people are trading for Bitcoin. We are also more on the more on the Bitcoin side because we want to multiply our Bitcoin. But what you are saying, Da Vinci, on the US dollar tether on the on, on the US dollar side, altcoins are looking more bullish. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, okay. You see a lot more Ws in the dollar value of so, all coins. That being said, for Bitcoin, um, you are holding off your holding positions anyway. But for the trading point of view, you had the, your short on the 61.8, which would have performed very, very great. But as the um, stop loss was a little bit too tight, um, you would at the moment wait. Um, for how much? Like for a few days? For like for for the daily candle to close? Or what would you actually wait? wait I have to I have to wait the until the market on? sets up a trade. I have to yes. wait until the market sets up a trade. There is no setting up a there is no trade set up. Uh, what I've learned from this last trade is that instead of um, uh, uh, of making the trade at the exact 61.8. The next time I'm going to see this, next time I see something like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably write this down. But I probably, I, I don't have to write it down because I will remember because it hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that's huge, huge potential wins because like it was really, really close to your 61.8. Exactly. I'm going to um, actually look for market structure at the 61.8 in the, the lower time frames. Mm. That's what I'll. That's where I'll base my trade off of, so that I won't get stopped out. All right. And for everyone who wasn't able to see the numbers correctly, we will share that game plan that set up in the chat on Telegram. Da Vinci and also the MM Crypto team. We are there. You can ask all the questions. And really, the 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 time is really getting very very close right now because the phone is dying. We have to upload the video very soon. Can we go back into the face mode so the people can see your lovely face, Da Vinci, and we can like ask a few last questions before we wrap up today's episode? Sure, Perfect. sure, sure. Perfect. That looks cool. Um, da Vinci, do, so to conclude your your views on the market right now. It exactly happened what you said, and um, for the the Bitcoin price, we want to wait and see until we um, see a trade in the market. But let's put it that way: if someone would point a um, gun to your head and ask you what is more likely, which scenario is more likely that um, this was a blow off top and we will go further lower and consolidate afterwards, or do you think Bitcoin will recover anytime soon and maybe go even higher to the upside for good? Well, looking at the looking at the price action right now, uh, this, there's a lot of follow through in this this uh, this this uh, bleeding down as it as it breaks down even more. So I would say that the probabilities are really high that we're going to have this is this is the beginning of the major correction that we're going to see. We might try to test the 61.8 one more time. If we don't get close to it, um, that's you you can pretty much bet on uh, on on uh, it getting back down to probably 7500 wow so guys if that isn't an, a, a nice ab scenario which is really exciting we do not know make sure you smash up the like button also we have good news on the alcon side the alcon season is still coming up maybe not today maybe not tomorrow morning guys but we are not here like for the very very short term we are all bitcoin and crypto believers and here for the long term so Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Da Vinci. Also, if you are interested in our own personal view on the altcoins when 
there might be an altcoin season coming up um, regarding um, or in regards to the history um, history data of crypto you can Click here on the info box on the top. We will link a video from our channel. It's a six minute video where we will show you um, data from the last bull and bear cycles and tell you when we will exactly check out when to go into altcoins. Also, if you want to trade Bitcoin with leverage, um, short or long Bitcoin without those huge overlords or um, like high funding fees, you can go on Bybit, which is the second largest um, Leverage exchange, you get $110 bonus for depositing 0.2 Bitcoin, 0.1 Bitcoin is $60. No um, drawbacks at all. Click the link in the description right there, right now on the top of the pinned comments also. So thank you so much for supporting MM Crypto. And Da Vinci, before we wrap up today's episode, um, what would be your call to action besides subscribing to your YouTube, YouTube channel? I think the most valuable thing is also, besides your YouTube channel, your Twitter channel, where you are, cha um, where you are um, sharing your trades in absolute real time from time to time. Um, do you have anything yeah. else? Yeah, I mean, uh, you can check out obviously my YouTube channel. I'm also uh, on the MM Crypto chat. All I was all I was practically there all day as this price was uh, <laughs> was going crazy. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun chatting with everybody. And uh, yeah, if you want to join us in, in the in the frivolity of uh, 